Hello everyone. With all the news you hear about GitHub 1S and the code spaces preview, you probably thought this was going to be another video about one of those. But this is actually not. There's actually another website called AnyFiddle, which similar to Replit or other cloud hosting platforms, they allow you to build, run, and share code in seconds online. So you can run your JavaScript, Python, Ruby, Go, Java, C, almost any language you like, you can run on this website. Now just yesterday they released a new shortcut which allows you to automatically import a project from GitHub into any fiddle by just changing the URL of the page. For example, if I'm on this custom icon badges repository, all I have to do is change github.com to githubaf.com. The GitHub AF will be for any fiddle. If I go to this URL, you'll see that it opens up a workspace. And immediately I have all of my code from GitHub and a terminal over here where I can execute commands. Now I can run my install scripts to install my dependencies if I'm using like a JavaScript project. So I can do something like yarn and that will install the dependencies. This can take a while, so I have done it already in another tab over here. And I'll just run the script now. Now notice that they actually give me a port where I can view my website, which is at port 8080. So I'll need to make sure that in my index file, I have it configured to go to port 8080 and not 5000. Or I could also make an environment file that will tell it that. I'm just going to put in my port over here. I can save this and I can run my dev command. It's yarn dev, not yard. And it, you'll see it's creating the build. It's converting my TypeScript to JavaScript. And all of these things are pre-installed. I did not have to install Yarn or anything like that. This can work with NPM, Python. All of these things just work right out of the box with any fiddle. Now you notice this this folder showed up because it's compiled my code. And in just a moment, it will show me that it is running on port 8080. Now we can see that it's done. The server is listing at port 8080. Port 8080 is mapped to this address, so I'll just click right over here, and you'll see that it opened up this web page, and I can upload my file. This is my web page that was generated by this code. You can see that's working perfectly fine. Now, one more cool feature about this is that it actually has GitHub integration. So if I go over here and, of course, log in with my GitHub account, you'll see that I've made some changes to this file, and I can just type a commit message over here and commit and push directly to GitHub. And this is super simple. I did not have to clone the repository. I can just straight away make changes to my code and commit them. Now I'll show you one more example with a Python project. I'll go to this repository table to ASCII. Again, I just changed GitHub to GitHub AF, and it opens up my project. It only takes a few seconds for it to clone the project and open up the workspace. Now you can see I have all my files, and let's say I want to run my unit tests. Let me try running Tox. Now it says Tox is not found. That's because I might need to install it. I'm sure pip is here, so I can say pip install tox, and that should install it. I'm going to try running my unit tests by running python 3-m tox, and you'll see that it started up my unit tests. Now it's installing the pytest dependency. And there we have it, all 52 tests passed. And I can change some things. Let's say I remove this R, save the file. I'm going to try running these tests again. And we see that the tests failed because it did not match the expected result. And again, I have GitHub over here if I want to commit any changes. I have full control over editing these files. I can search for things within a file. 
I've got terminals over here. I can open the second terminal. And of course, if I have a web application, it can run on port 8080. So I hope you find this useful. Let me know in the comments if you think this is something you'll use. I've also got a link to my Discord server in the description if you want to ask any questions. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!